Family and friends still in shock after a mom died in a Christmas Eve crash after a speeder hit the family's car. Good evening. I'm Latoya Silman in for Jim. I'm Reed Cowan. She died in her car on Lake Mead near Pecos, and tonight we know more about the victims. News 3's Max Darrow joins us live from where it happened with our top story tonight. Max, this family going into the new year heartbroken. A growing memorial stands right here where that crash happened that took the life of 41 year old Maribel Aleman. Her 13 year old son is still in the hospital tonight, and those close to the family still tell me they cannot believe she's gone. It was very heartbreaking you know, when you've known somebody for so many years, when their heart and your heart is one. Maribel Aleman meant the world to Eric Baranco. She took care of him as he grew up. Oh, every morning fed me my breakfast before I went to school. She, she, she dropped me off, picked me up from school, and she was, she was always there for me. The 41-year-old was killed on Christmas Eve when another car crashed into her family's car on Lake Mead near Pecos. Her husband and 13-year-old son spent the holiday at the hospital, the 13-year-old with critical injuries. The speed is a factor, is a, is a huge factor in this. Police arrested this man, Rigoberto Chavez Solorzano, for three counts of felony reckless driving. It's the third time he's been arrested for speeding. These streets are meant to be driven safely, and I think that should be respected more. Um, speed limits, uh, traffic warnings, everything is there for a reason. I think they should be followed strictly. What was supposed to be a quick family trip to the bakery turned into a Christmas Eve tragedy. And now, Baranco says our community is without someone who always put others' happiness first. Her loving heart, her loving heart that she not only had towards us, but to, to her surroundings, the people she knew, and even the people that she didn't know, she was always so compassionate and so loving. I did speak with some of the family members this afternoon, and they tell me that we do have an update on the 13-year-old. He is expected to survive, but he may be in the hospital for several more weeks. Reporting live tonight on Lake Mead near Pecos, Max Darrow, News 3. What's All right, such a sad story. Thank you so much, Max.